looks so fun to be involved in. And, um, yeah, I've had several games of the PMDB, winning the Royal Rumble, and going to WrestleMania. I used to be a dream of mine. Welcome to the fourth edition of the 2018 PMDB video series. So, they're drawing me in again. I will watch wrestling once again this year. Well, at least the Royal Rumble event itself, yes. I've been like, WWE is garbage, but the Royal Rumble match could be good. Because they have put on some great Royal Rumble matches when the product's been shit. And it's the shit that's it's ever been. You know, I've, I've been a fan since 991, loved wrestling, WrestleMania attendee, all that fun stuff. Didn't like John Cena, put up with John Cena, um, continued watching throughout his propaganda bullshit run. Um, and then Roman Reigns came along and I was like, no, I'm not going through another John Cena 2.0. I'm not going through another era where the top guy isn't an authentic top guy, where the fans actually like, legit like. I'm not going through this manufactured crap again. And last year, you know, with him going over The Undertaker um, at WrestleMania was one of the final straws for me. One of the final straws, because the... They've basically turned the main event of WrestleMania into mediocre main event now with Roman Reigns. What is he headlined? About 100? Okay, that's a slight, a slight exaggeration. He's like headlined the last four WrestleManias. Uh, it's just like, enough. I'm done. But the Royal Rumble event, well, specifically the match itself, is like sort of the gem among shit it can still be good and i've decided i'm not gonna cut my nose off despite my face i'm gonna watch the royal rumble matches this year we're gonna have a women's match this year and it'd be interesting to see which one main events i wouldn't be surprised if the women's one because it's the first one main events um this year's 2018 royal rumble match <laughs> event rather um, now I have not watched any WWE programming this year, not that there has been much this year, but overall since Survivor Series I was done with wrestling again, even though that was a solid show up until the main event. Um, the weekly programming has been really, really dire. I see Vince Russo and many others moaning about it all the time, Bruce Blitz, um, and I'm on the same boat as them. It's it's very unwatchable when you're not a WWE mark and when you're growing ass at all. It's unwatchable. But the Royal Rumble match is special. I've had some great fun watching the Royal Rumble matches over the years. 1992, which is still the best one ever, was my first Royal Rumble experience. I didn't watch it live, but I remember watching it the next day, getting a, um, you know, a friend had it or something, and... Um, it was just, you know, and then actually probably watching it then I didn't realise how great it was at the time. You know, I was such a new wrestling fan. I uh, just started watching in November, the year prior. And, you know, that I watched that match again, you know, in recent years and it still holds up. Uh, Bobby Heenan, uh, he's, of course, passed away last year. His call for that entire match and the... Next year's Royal Rumble match, even though it wasn't such a good Royal Rumble match, his calls in those matches were just made the event, the match even better. It's like such him and Gorilla Monsoon, what a combination they were. Um, also, no chance in hell, the build up to Austin McMahon 1 and 2 in 999 Royal Rumble, great memories there. Watched it at my grandma's house. I think it was still in. Um, primary school at the time but I think I'm pretty sure I stayed up to watch that one. I'm not sure if it was the actual live show or I think it was actually the live show because I remember getting annoyed at school from focus to spoil the results so I think I stayed up to watch the 999 Royal Rumble that year and uh, I was not a fan of Triple H at the time and he was in the Rumble match I remember Austin giving the stunner I was like yeah knock that overrated see out the ring never never been a big fan of trips 
I've always thought, you know, since the Austin Rock era, you know, there's two boom periods in my lifetime of wrestling. There's the fantastic Hulkamania era, and there's the, you know, other fantastic era, which was the Austin era, also featuring The Rock. Um, and I always thought, like, after that, WWE went through three stages of hell. Uh, first was Triple H, the era of him dominating Raw. Then the John Cena era that lasted forever. And now we're going through it. Uh, the third and final stage of hell, hopefully. There'll be no more stages of rubbish after this uh, Roman Reigns era. Um, all three still in the company. Triple H, you know, still wrestles from time to time. He won a Royal Rumble match himself just a couple of years ago. Ridiculous. Um, I've, I've never thought he was that damn good. And I hear John Cena's in this year's Royal Rumble match. And I've got a feeling John Cena will equal Austin's record and will probably win the men's uh, match. And then, just to annoy the fans even more, he'll probably get that 17th title to break Ric Flair's record. Why not you just, you know, what else records can he beat? He should uh, win the championship uh, uh, Elimination Chamber or, or this other one, Fastlane, and then go on to be the third person to defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Well, they're on this role. Why not just piss us off, you know, um, with uh, Cena just winning all these records and, and being the third person to in fact, how about make Cena the first person to make Undertaker submit that WrestleMania? Why not just piss us off, you know? Dylan, just do outdo all the shitty things he did in uh, 2017 WWE and just book John Cena, book Ro Roman Reigns so strong. Give Roman Reigns his main event for the fourth, fifth time in a row. I've lost count. It's been so many uh, this year. Uh, and, and, and just make those two mediocre stars Give them everything, make them both look uh, strong, and just you know, very both manufactured crap. Uh, I, I've got to be honest. See, this is not a personal thing. They're characters, but they are not interesting characters. Um, they're not not the most. You know, Roman Reigns had the gall to say he was like the best in ring performer of his generation today. I'm like, oh, buddy. What on earth have you been drinking? What is in the water up there in the WWE headquarters? Seriously. 